It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome into the live show here on another beautiful Kentucky Sunday night. How's it going? Uh, what are you drinking? Welcome to everyone in the chat. Yes. And I'm uh, back. And Sarah's back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You weren't here last week. I was not. Perry kindly filled in for me. Mm -hmm. um, we just a, a front a front note. We've been having internet issues all day. It was yeah. out for like most of the afternoon. Yeah. So. If we drop off, I don't know if there's any resuscitating it, so <laughs> we might have to make up for it another day this week or next weekend or something, extra innings, I don't know. Yeah. But we'll see, because we will yeah. be calling our internet provider yeah. and harassing them. Um, <laughs> for sure. But anyways, just a forewarning, so sorry if there's any lagging or anything like that. But yeah. fingers crossed, we'll get through it, all good. Yes. Keep us up to date if you see any problems. Mm. If you see something, say something. <laughs> I think it's just going to be... Either it'll be there or it won't. That's kind of how it's been yeah, today. Yeah, right. Um, but we, oh, Eric hey. Eric Way is in the channel. Another fellow uh, whiskey YouTuber. You can check out his YouTube channel here uh, here on YouTube. Uh, obviously, <laughs> check out his YouTube page over on Twitch. No, here on YouTube. Check Chad, it, check it out. What are we doing top of the show? Well, yeah, top of the show. We gotta cheers him now. What can we can we do? Okay, I guess we can just go ahead and do it. This is a live. Let's do it. A live uncorking. Um, and we will put the uh, we'll do a pinned comment down below with timestamps that have Look all that. the things that we're tasting when we're tasting them. If you would like to jump to those, but here's the first one that we will be doing. That's right. In about ten seconds. <laughs> ah, very, nice. very good, very good. Okay. So, what is this, Chad? Tell us about it. This. Sarah, is a Maker's Mark uh, Private Select. This is Keeneland Bottle. They have a Keeneland Mercantile Shop in downtown Lexington in the new city center. And if you're not familiar with Keeneland, it's pretty much a Lexington staple. It is our local horse race track. Um, yep. Yes, God, everybody loves Keeneland. Yeah. So this is a Private Select. Um, this is Thanks, where Swan. they have, hey Swan, where they have the different staves suspended in a barrel. Uh, different uh, types of oak, different toasting and charring methods of mm -hmm. the different staves. And it's kind of like this, you know, little mini recipe that you can experiment with and uh, get your own private selections of this. So that is what Keeneland has done. Um, but first of all, to Eric. To Eric. Cheers. Bourbon, it's not just for breakfast, is what he said. Oh, there you go. That's what he said. Excellent. So, <clears throat> so cheers with that. And... Also, thank you to everyone for being in the chat. Welcome all you whiskey. newcomers. We got a couple new people. Oh, we do. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, to anyone whose first time this is, also choose. Mm. I already drank it. Hmm. Ooh. So, whoa. Toasty. Um, this is 108.5 Kentucky, uh, Kentucky bourbon whiskey without the E. That's just how Maker's Mark does it. Also, how Old Forester does it. Mm -hmm. It's just to honor their heritage, where they came from. Um, He's not mad about it at all. Barrel finished with oak staves. I'm not. I don't. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. The way you said that was, uh, that's just some people. <laughs> you know, some people. Some people just have to honor their heritage. Uh, uh, ugh, heritage <laughs> honoring. It's so lame. <laughs> no, it's cool. So normally, on the back here, um, you have the things that are check marked of the staves that you did. So you have like a baked American pure two, a seared French curve, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Maker's 46 uh, stave, um, a roasted French mocha, and a toasted French spice. And normally mm. those would be denoted here. But they want to keep their secret recipe. Secret recipe. Fine. It's like Colonel Sanders. This has herbs and spices in it. All the herbs, all the spices. <clears throat> So 108.5. Nice, nice. Woo! It, it gets right you right there. Right there, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gives yeah. you that hug. Gives you the hug. Can I... That um, feeling when you think your horse is going to come in first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pop us over to this viewing. Oh, okay. Oh, but no. Well, but no. It didn't. No. Mm -mm. Nope. Go back. Okay, nope. fine. That's fine. Never mind. I was going to see... If we can see how many people are in the chat. But they'll let us know. It's being cranky. And yeah. I, well, I don't want to tempt the internet gods right now. We really don't. <laughs> let's not refresh any pages. Let's not switch tabs. Like, we're just we're just good. We're good. 
Um, Jeff Wimbush. He said, just came back from Covington to visit New Rift Distillery. That's a good one. Mm. Uh, and to do some party store shopping. Also great. He said, Buffalo Trace is extinct. I mean, it's pretty hard to find. Mm. We actually just got a couple of bottles for our uh, wedding bar, so. A couple? A case. A case. Of I a, wasn't going to brag. He just liter, said it's extinct. Of a liter cola. Don't be a jerk. Sorry. Thank <laughs> no. you, Jeff Wimbush. Oh, you can't find any? Well, we just got a case. Oh, really? Because we just got a case of liter sized <laughs> bottles. Oh, yeah, I guess it is kind of jerky. I retract. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Radcliffe, cheers from Kansas with some Makers 46 in my glass. Cheers to you. Cheers. We'll be drinking Makers together. So you guys, did uh, did we try the 101, Makers 101 on live? No, that was with Perry. That's um, right. I have it. If uh, you'd like to try it. No, I mean, I know that I did taste it and I enjoyed it, which yeah. is like makes me really happy because I have now found that I like this from Makers and I really like the 101 and that makes me happy. I love mm -hmm. to like things. I don't want to be negative all yeah, the time. Yeah, so, so right now it's really just the regular old makers, the 90 proof, that were like, mm. um, But I saw uh, Eric said that he also just tweeted that we are we are live, so he tweeted that out to his audience. Oh, thank, thank you, you, Eric. Appreciate that. Look and, at all these just, uh, just such kindness. Uh, and someone else said, and I forgot, and I probably can't. Find it now. James Humphreys wants to know why I'm wearing a sweatshirt in the middle of summer. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a girl. She's I a get girl. cold. Oh, Al said Dickel also leaves the E off of whiskey. 200 in the chat. That's nice. Ah, sweet. Um, but I will probably take this sweatshirt off about halfway through. I have a tank top underneath. Don't get excited. <laughs> um, it's not that kind of show. Hey, that, we're, um, we're looking for a rating spike. Because no. these lights, they get hot. There are lights. But they're not hot lights. No, so, but I get hot. Well, maybe it's the whiskey. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, the whiskey. it's the whiskey. These are LED yeah. and fluorescent lights. Well, I like to blame it on the lights. Okay, that's fine. You do that. Yes, I will. I will do that. I like to blame it on the rain. Yeah, yeah. Blame it on the rain. No? Just me? Okay. Cool. Uh, also, hello to... We'll give you nothing. <laughs> the moderators here in the chat. I saw Swan. Swan is here. I Who haven't else seen anyone else. But thank hey, there's, you. There's Adam Terry. Thanks again, Adam Terry. I actually meant to message you and, and say thank you for the Elijah Craig right off the bat edition that we uh, we showed that um, last week. Oh, on, yeah. On the live. I think it was last week. Uh, Michael Wright, cheers to you. He says, yo, it's the guy who drinks wine while watching. Hey, you yo, drink Michael, whatever you want. Yo, Michael, you drink... You drink your wine, man. I like wine. Will whiskey, you, you wine. wine. Well, that's I whiskey she wines. Yeah, or, another is it YouTube he? channel. Or I, I think it's I, I whiskey. I whiskey she, she wines. wines. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Sarah, let's talk about this. Let's let's review this sucker. It has like a definite toasted oak yes. note, but it's also got this really interesting mm. sweet flavor. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. I think it's the mocha. I think I would definitely say. You think say, it's mocha? Because I'm getting a coffee note on the finish. And when I tried it at Perry's, uh, when I tried, I tried his bottle first, and mm. I think it might have been a little bit more apparent on his. Actually, maybe it opens up to to that. But just off the neck pour here. <clears throat> okay. Get a little bit of it, but. On it's, it's not, coming in now on the finish, but there is this like yeah. pie filling flavor. Pie in filling the, flavor. You know, pie filling. Well, that like, flavor will fill your pie. You know, like the filling of a pecan pie. Not the pecans, not the crust, but the filling. That like really. Oh, a pie filling flavor. Okay. It's like. Gotcha. Just like brown sugar. I don't know. It could be a fruit pie. Like there's just, maybe it's like fruit an apple pie. pie, but it's like that brown sugar, cinnamon, gooey, gooey. Gooey, gooey. Gooey, gooey, gooey goodness. Gooey, gooey. Goodness. That will come back to bite me sometime. Ooey gooey goodness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Probably. It's already a meme. <laughs> this just it's in there. pie filling. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do a video where we like toss it to an announcer <laughs> or something. I don't know. Like he could tell us the weather, but it's about bourbon somehow. I don't know. It was a stupid idea. Half baked, <laughs> like a pie. No. Anyways, mm, that's weird. It's an awkward pause. <laughs> wait, and, wait, wait. Uh, Check, please. Hmm. Well, how every 80s sitcom mm, scene ended no. that was awkward. Yeah. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> I wasn't there, so I don't know. Yes, you were. 
You were born in the 80s. Oh, well, okay. I was there for three months. There you go. Long enough. No, I like it. Um, I enjoy this. I would recommend picking up a bottle. I, I really like it. Yeah. Oh, uh, someone else wants us to pour more, please. I guess they're... Ta- Did we, we talk too much about this? I don't know. We just started. We're only 11 minutes in. Pour more of this or pour I something else? I think just else. pour something else. Yeah. <clears throat> Fine. We have some treats lined up. We do. We do. Mm. But I'm not done with this. This is nice. <laughs> I'm not done with you. We're not done here. Oh, I'm not done. See me after the stream. What's the proof on this again? That's nice. 108.5. 108.5. It feels good. Yeah. I like it. It does. It feels real good. It feels real good. As you said, it's always good to find a makers that you like. Well, you know, I mean, I'm such a, I try to be positive. So like in general in life. I feel like that's our general crux of this channel. But I don't just mean about the channel. I just mean like in life, I yeah. try to be positive. No, you or like, are a it's look on my, the bright side. Yeah, it's just my nature. Yeah. So when we try multiple things back to back that are what I would call not good or disappointing. <laughs> what I would call <laughs> not, not good. good. It hurts me to be negative time after time after time. I like to be surprised by things. I like yeah, it when I like something. It doesn't prevent us from telling the truth. No, but it hurts my soul a little bit. Sure. Sure. A little bit of me dies. Aww. Oh. Yeah. Then I just become, I don't know, not Sarah with an H. It would be Sarah sad, without a soul. Sad Sarah. Sad Sarah. Kara. <laughs> no, Kara. I don't know. Hopefully, no one out there is named Kara. <laughs> Some people are. Someone's named Kara. Yeah. And now the sweatshirt's getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I don't know if it's the embarrassment or what. Um, well. Oh, I'm not being ageist. I'm just saying. I like to give... The only reason I comment about age in the 80s and stuff is just to get under his skin. It's not actually about anything else. What is it? Do I have a hair? I have them all over my head, so they tend to oh, go. It just yeah, wants to I go back. It. it just wants to go back. <laughs> Adam Terry says, sad Sarah is Sarah. 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 Yeah. I like that. <laughs> so this is good. Again, we recommend, if you're in Lexington, I'd recommend picking up a bottle. Uh, Keith Daniel says, hey guys, dumb question. No such thing. What are mocha staves all about? What aren't they about? No, but for real, like, I am not enough well-versed in, like, Maker's Mark Lore. knowledge to know exactly, but from what I understand is that they are staves that have that quality. Because you can't add flavor, right? It has to be from the wood. So I think that they're looking for wood that has these certain qualities. What? Oh, this. Thank you. Um, and they're able to find them and identify them, and they impart those flavors into the bourbon. Because it couldn't be like a stave sprayed with a bunch of mocha stuff or <laughs> soaked in coffee. Like, you couldn't do that. That yeah. would be adding flavor, and that's not that would make a bourbon. Yeah. Um, that's my understanding. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that, by the way. You want to... Shoot, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate the super chat. Ooh. And, you know, it could be... Not one you want to chug. They found a varietal of oak that has more of a... So that's what I'm saying. Like Flavor, you know. Based on what's on the back, we're saying... Yeah. Um, oh, wait. Seared... Oh, here, here we go. We have an answer. Clifton. Well, he's, he's commenting about his favorite staves. Oh. So my favorite staves are French mocha and French... Cuvée. Cuvée. Yeah. Did a tasting with them recently uh, where they let us try them all individually. So different. That's awesome. Thank so you, since Clifton you, McDaniel. Yes, thank you. As always. Um, Appreciate it. If you are more well-versed in the knowledge of that, the staves imparting flavor, maybe you can uh, help us. Tell us if we're wrong. Answer yeah. that question for and, us. Pretty and, sure that's right. And at us. At me, bro. At me, bro. <laughs> what happened to Sarah's beard? Well, his name it is... got itchy. His name is Perry. <laughs> That's what she calls her beard. Mm. And uh, she shaved him? <laughs> no, I don't like no, where this I don't is like going. that. I don't like Mm-mm. that at all. Michael Wright. I'll stave your mocha. I'll stave your mocha. I'll bottle your biscuit. It sounds exactly like something he would say. Yeah, thank I'll you for that. I'll bottle your biscuit. Cheers. Jeez. <laughs> um, so Sarah didn't get to try this last week. Uh, Perry and I did, but this is the Bargetown Bourbon Company Rye Whiskey. It's aged two years and four months. It's a 95% rye, 5% malted barley. It's 120 proof. This is the Ooh. Scotch and Time oh. slash bourbon in time, but it's at Scotch and Time mm. on Instagram. Um, barrel, 
a single barrel that it's not done. The cool thing is... This is a work in progress. They try it every year until they're like, nope, it's ready. Bottle it. So this is just a sample of something that's still there aging. That's pretty cool. It's very cool. Um, uh, yeah, Clifton McDaniel. A... Yes, different types of wood, and they roast slash toast them differently. All uh, different cuts of wood and grooves cut in it. That's right. They that's have the right. Grooves, they cut so the it grooves. Has more, yeah, Surface area, really I guess. Really affects the flavor. Yep. Yeah, Quick Search says that they have high mocha tank staves. Mm. Um, displays an intense array of Ouch. cocoa, coca, coffee, and vanilla aromas. That's from Kilco. Thank you much. And Greer Crabtree. Drinking the Rust Reserve, Reserve single, single barrel. barrel. Not bad. Love the show. Thank you. Thank you very much, Greer. <sighs> I'm just... What depressed. When I think about Russell's Reserve Single Barrel, I think about our hops to go pick from last year that is gone. R.I.P. The barrel Warehouse, is gone. Delicious. R.I.P. The store is no longer with us either. <laughs> yeah. Um, was maybe, I mean, it's like one of my favorite bottles. Yeah. Wish we'd gotten like a case of those. I, uh, yeah, regret. Yeah. Hashtag regret. Yeah. All right. One so. moment, please. I have to take a sweatshirt off. Sure. While you're up, um, my drink more water pint glass is over there by the by the pitcher. Would you yes. refill that and bring that, please? Thank you very much. Uh, Clifton also adds in um, for the French mocha. They roast it at a really high temperature to bring out the sugars. Smart. Thank you for the knowledge drop, Clifton. So, what do you think about this? Um, not yet ready for prime time rye whiskey. Um, I think it's actually really nice. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see what a little bit more maturation does to it. Mm -hmm. But it's got like a really nice honey finish. Yeah. But it's still it's got like the spices in there that you're looking for. But it's not super overwhelming. I think yep. that it really complements this like honey flavor, this like sweet and spicy kind of thing going on. Yes. Um, I like. I dig it. Oh, this drink more water pine glass? Mm. You can find it at whiskeyambitions.com. Okay, Did you I? say, I couldn't, I thought I heard you. Did you not ask? Sorry. Maybe like telepathically. Probably telepathically. Yeah, whiskeyambitions.com is where they are. Oh, um, Charles wants to know, did I say that the Russell's Reserve single barrel is going away? No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. <laughs> it is around to stay. We did a barrel pick of a single barrel last year and it's run out, like there were a, finite number of those bottles and they are gone they've been picked over and drank and we have like this much of our bottle left yeah and once that bottle that pick is gone it's gone forever and that makes us very sad but we learned our lesson and next time we do amazing picks we're going to buy cases of them <laughs> That's right. that we can keep forever because i could have drank that for the rest of my life it was so delicious and from now on the picks that we do hopefully also get offered to you all so that's yeah. that's that's the goal still waiting on that Knob Creek pick of ours. <clears throat> yeah. uh, Jeff Winbush, Jeff Winbush. I have been working out. You're right. Thank you. Read the whole comment. It feels good to be noticed. No, um, no, I don't want to read it. I'll say what every dude I'm is blushing. thinking. Sarah, been working out. Chad is a lucky ducky. Yes, quack quack. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Jeff. It just took so much energy for me to not just shoot that bourbon out my nose. It would have burned. Should have. It would have been good for ratings. It's funny. No, it's a good ride. I like oh, that. I know. We can't keep it forever. The what bottle that's open. I've been working on it slowly when Chad's not looking. What? Nothing. Thing what? is, we have to show a lot of restraint because we're saving a bottle for our friend Aaron who's coming up. And it's just been sitting there. And it's just sitting there with his name on it. And there it is, a full bottle. Never even been cracked. Never even been cracked. Just sitting there waiting. Just sitting there. And we're holding it for him. Yep. Not some good restraint. It is. Um, a Anthony wants to know, is there no more on secondary? I haven't looked in a while. I know that a couple months after we released it, it was going on secondary for like double maybe, um, which is crazy. It was like 120 bucks. And yeah. We, it was supposed to be like 60. Um, so I don't know. I haven't searched for it. That's a good question. If I really want one, I guess I could get one. Yes, you could. Um, yeah, and Clifton wants to know, so when's the Knob Creek pick coming around? That's a great question. It's we, overdue. It's overdue. It's it past overdue. due. Past due. Late notice. Mm-hmm. Some guys are coming. We've been inquiring. Um, yeah. so we will, we will keep you posted. That's as much as we know at this point. We're very, 
nervous because <laughs> we would like to have it for our wedding bar, but yeah. we don't know. It's called a mash made in heaven. It would really be a missed opportunity if we didn't have yeah. it. Yeah. Synergy. Synergy, you guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Scott Adams, Drinking High West Prairie Bourbon. Oh, uh, American Prairie. Yeah. Uh... Some, some nice stuff. I think it's really, it's like when people ask me, like, what would you give someone who's never had bourbon before? I think about High West American Prairie sometimes because I think that it's something that they haven't heard of, but that's super approachable. Mm-hmm. I agree. All right. I had to get something in my glass to toast you with. <clears throat> uh, this. This was for Scott. This is for Scott. Cheers, Scott. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm. Hey, there's Trev Wilson. He's currently still at a wedding. Well, I hope it's not like during the ceremony. <laughs> He's just moderating um, from his chair quietly. Clifton, if the if our Knob Creek pick isn't around in October, then something is seriously wrong. Seriously wrong. So, like they lost it or yes. they dumped it into the grass or something. I don't yes. know what happened. Yes. Hopefully uh, that doesn't happen. B. Murphy, that's Brian. Met him uh, last week. We finally completed the bourbon trail. Well, cheers to you and Crystal. Here we go. I have like a drop left in here. I must get something new. Let me tell you what I'm drinking and Sarah will soon be drinking. <gasps> Trev has zero bourbon. There's Whoa. zero bourbon at the wedding. Whoa, no. don't go to those weddings. What are you doing? No, that's not true. <laughs> we respect their wishes. Sure. I, you don't have to agree. Um, let's see, what is this name? Pilferk. <laughs> You both are lucky, or you are both lucky because honestly, you're both so sweet to each other. Oh, cheers with some Buffalo Trace single barrel. That's that's nice. We with, try. Uh, with your son? Cheers with son? No, some. I think he meant to type oh. some. Oh. Okay. Cheers with some Buffalo Trace single barrel. Thank you. That's awesome. A pick of B Trace. Did you tell him good. what this is? No. So this was kindly provided by Ian, mm -hmm. uh, who is regularly in our chats. Um, this is a 1981 Old Grandad, uh, National Distillers Juice, 86 proof. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, so this is OG. almost as old as you. I mean, like, no, I'm not teasing you. Like, honestly, this is, like, when you really think about Correct. it that way. Correct. It's a lot to wrap your mind around. Yes. Yes. I'm it's, not teasing you. I know. I'm done. It's fine. No, this is, uh, yeah, some... 81 OGD 86 proof National Distillers. It's back when they owned it before Beam owned it. It smells vintagey. It sure does. It has that. It's got some of that funk. That funk. Oh man. Mm. That is different. All right. Ooh. Forgot to tell you. I also forgot to tell them something. That is delicious. It is really good. Thank you, Ian, for sharing that with us. It's just different. You just don't get things like this anymore. Pause button. Pause. Um, kind of has a bubble gum note at the end, which is weird, <laughs> but it's also very caramel. Yeah, no, I get that. So if you go over to our community page on our channel, um, I put a poll up this morning. So if you haven't seen it, uh, we're going to talk about the results here in probably about 15 minutes, probably about 8.45. Oh, okay. Uh, so if you want to go contribute to that poll, want to put your, put your words in, uh, go and do that. Okay. Um, yes, do that, please. I'm sorry, I was not trying to <laughs> brush you off. Okay. Uh, Steve H. said, I might name my next kid OGD114. <laughs> Sounds like a robot. I like it. OGD114. Reporting for duty. <laughs> Popping and locking. <laughs> um, no, Chad is not much older than me. So. No, I'm not. And I appreciate the, I think we have a great, a good, Yes. Born in the same decade? Yes, we were. Yes. But I, I think that our, um, I don't know, ex life experience in years. Maturity each level. Other nicely. Very good. Yeah. About the same. About the same. Yeah. You're probably actually it's a little bit older. Oh, <laughs> That is so nice. This is not what they came to see. That's the only time that you get to call <laughs> a woman older and they'd be like, oh. You're so mature. You're so wise. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Ooh, Any hoozle. Gross. Uh, um, okay, so yeah. what I wanted to tell you guys yeah. while we're um, huh. sipping on this amazing stuff, like if you have a chance to get your hand on some stuff from like the 80s or the 70s, you should try it. 
Um, actually, uh, Bottle Devon Kitchen at the Barstown Bourbon Company has a lot of really good vintage selections that are actually you can really, find some reasonable prices. Really in there. reasonably like, priced, some of them I would say. I would, I mean, I wouldn't have expected to be able to get some of those things for the for the price that they have them listed. Yeah. Um, if you've never tried anything from that time, you definitely should, and you should compare it to the of today if you can. <laughs> Of today. Because you can tell. It's just different. Yeah. Um, anyways, so what I wanted to um, tell you guys, I saw the strip club comment. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants. I don't care. I don't police him. Um, okay, before I get to what I was going to tell you, Patrick, Chattanooga 91 and 111 first taste extravaganza Wednesday 7-8. He's going. So you all better be there. Eight seven, Mister this dyslexic. What did I say? Seven eight. Seven eight. Oh, oops. Seven eight nine. Uh, that's why the six is afraid of the seven. Right, that's what I heard. Um, on eight seven. Eight seven. Sorry, I wanted to do it again. <laughs> I had to stop. Myself. Going. Well, awesome, right. Patrick. Let us know how that turns out, and thank you for the super chat. Yes, thank you. Okay. So we're talking about Barstown Bourbon Company, and we're talking about the fall. And we're talking about all these things. We're talking about our pick, and. We have reached the point where we have planned this super secret meetup. Mm -hmm. Semi super secret. Semi super secret. Um, we had only 22 spots available, us being two of those people. We have filled the majority of them. We maybe have six left. We opened it up to our Patreon community. We gave them a deadline to sign up by. We did not fill all the spots. Mm -hmm. um, we have a few remaining. So if you are interested, shoot us an email at itsbourbonnight at gmail.com. There is an expense. It's Friday, October 25th, and Saturday, October 26th. And it involves a Buffalo Trace ghost tour, oh. private for just for our group. It involves a private dinner at Bottle and Bond Kitchen. It involves a day full of tour bus things going around Bardstown, um, and just general hangout stuff. Yeah. So, all you, with us. If you're interested, please <laughs> email us at itsbourbonite at gmail.com. I don't know how many emails we're going to get, so please, patience. And I guess we'll have to go in order of when we received the timestamp on the emails. Um, Correct. And everyone yes. else will go on a waiting list in case anyone drops off. Yes. Um, and, and this is not like a paying money for a ticket at this point type of thing. It's, it's like a, a reserve your seat. Yes, I could be there uh, on those days. And yes, I would pay. This X amount of dollars. X amount of dollars. We can provide you with that information. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we'll actually sell the tickets. And... So if you can be there on those two dates, mm -hmm. Friday, October 25th, starting around 5 o'clock um, through Saturday night, you would have to leave on Sunday morning. Or you can do whatever you want. You don't have to leave. Uh, but you can't stay here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then just email us if you're interested. Um, obviously, there's ticket prices and tour bus fees and dinners and things bundled into meals bundled into price but yeah, absolutely we can give you the details if you're interested just shoot us an email clifton's going so i can't wait he for, is for the going. meetup will be my first time in kentucky and who better to spend it with than you guys i'm so excited to meet you probably a lot better ways but we'll take it so well to hang out with you i'm very yes. excited to hang out i feel like we, we already know each other that's right we don't i don't say meet yep boom um, so yeah, the other thing we kind of wanted to... This is so good. I know. I, my, I already finished mine. But we uh, still got, look. I know. We still have a nice little sample left. Yeah. Mm. This is good. It's so good. It's like good. caramely delightful yeah. goodness. And just to also e expand upon, Barstow Bourbon Company is hooking us up. Like, we have a private room. That you normally have to like... It's up above overlooking... Um, the restaurant. They're just super cool people. They're super cool. Going to try to give us maybe a sneak peek behind the curtain of something. Yeah. So we'll see what we can do. Yeah. We're still working on the details. Yeah. Uh, it should be fun. It For should sure. be a good time. I don't yeah. want to spoil anything. <laughs> but we want to spoil but you. Who doesn't want to do a ghost tour on Oct a Friday in October, so right close before to Halloween. Halloween, at Buffalo Trace at night? And we've never done it. We've never done it. Who doesn't want to? Can we just? I want to get the night vision <laughs> camera and I want to film everybody going through. I want to make it like an episode I want to take of my, Ghost Adventures my or something. Audio recorder and then play it back and go, Shh, what was that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Play it back, turn it up. <laughs> get out 
You know, it's like... <laughs> like, how fun would that be? I don't know. Yeah, so, just saying. Um, and we got we got some friends with Airbnbs around... Well, I guess it's mainly it's Lexington. It's mainly in Lexington. And, yeah, but you could stay in Lexington you could and meet stay us in Lexington. Bardstown. I don't know. I'm not yeah. going to tell you where to stay. We're staying in Bardstown because we don't want to drive. We ask you to also be responsible anytime you're drinking. But you, you don't know. have to drive between the distilleries because we'll have, we'll have a tour bus the party bus on Saturday that we can party on. So, All right. yep, it'll be fun. All right, there we go. Um, let's see. Mm. Let us. That is so good. Go to... Let us go. Ah, let's do this. Daniel calls for bring out your Chazes and Sarahs. <laughs> <laughs> bring out your dead. Yeah, that's what it made me think of. <laughs> um, We're going to go to another... Or a, we're going to go to a sample. Oh, six emails. Wow, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Seven. Great. Okay, I'm going to have to check those after check the show. Those later timestamps. Um, we're going to go to a sample from Tiffany and Jamie Beaver. Mm -hmm. Beaver. It looks like beaver. Beaver. It sounds like beaver. Okay. Um, I don't know. They haven't written us and said, you said our name wrong. Quit butchering our last name. Um, so this is, I, I wanted to go Jim Beam because we're talking about whole, how old granddad was eventually, you know, acquired by Jim Beam. I think it was in the 80s when that happened. Not mm -hmm. sure. Late 70s, early 80s. Sometime Ooh, in the 80s, mid 80s, it. maybe. I'm scared. I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a Jim Beam from the late '70s. Mm. It's it's a white label, so they're so. they're baseline. But it's from the late '70s, so neither of us were born. Um, so that's always good, or maybe we'll see. We'll let you know. So it doesn't say, but yeah, it does. It says right there, forty percent. So eighty proof. Eighty proof. So we're going down a touch, but come on. Late 70s this bottle. This one's a little more musty. It is, but I really like it. Well, oh, well, I'm shocked. Chad likes something from Jim Beam. But hey, I'm I... I'm just going to turn this over <laughs> because I can't. It's giving me anxiety to see all those emails. <laughs> Um, but I, I I don't have much love for the white label. I'll no, say it. Well, not of today. Um, I don't know that I've ever had it. This is, it doesn't say, someone asked what year. It just says late 70s. We don't have a date Yeah. Um, on this. But I'm not sure that it make much, I mean, it might make difference. You can bring your, your non-bourbon drinking wife, Jeff. There's wine in Kentucky. Yeah. There's a lot of beer. Wine. Yeah, beer, wine, cocktails. Uh, other distilleries like Castle and Key have vodka and gin. They mm -hmm. do a lot of great cocktails. Barstown Bourbon Company makes excellent cocktails. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. mm. Hey. Hey. The hey. nose. The nose is not as exciting as the first one that we tried, but this one holds its own. So it doesn't really have any finish to speak of. Just that it goes away pretty quickly because it's 80 proof. But mm -hmm. man, the palate. The palate. The palate is palette. really good. Yeah? Oh, um, we have it. Yes, it's pronounced like the animal. Thank you, Tiffany. Tiffany's here. Thank you, Tiffany. Everyone say thank you to Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany. Everyone do the clap emoji for, for Tiffany and Jamie. And Jamie. Yes, let's not forget about Jamie. And if Ian, I don't know, I haven't seen Ian. I don't know if I don't Ian McMaster is, is in the chat, but send him... Send him well wishes. Um, Justin, who we owe a super chat to, says, My wife and I are going to Louisville in January. Are there any distillery tours or bourbon bars that are must-sees? Buffalo Trace is a must-see for me. Buffalo Trace is a must-see, um, yes. Honestly, when you're in Louisville, <laughs> cheers. Um, you can't go wrong with Whiskey Row. Like, Old Forester, Michter's, you've got the Evan Williams Bourbon Experience, you've got the Jim Beam Urban Still House, Angel's Peer Envy, Peerless, Peerless. is really close. Um... All of those are like on one strip, yeah. but you do have to make reservations in advance. And some of them are very wonky on their time. So like I would be prepared in like November with where you're going to go and have your tickets reserved. Yeah. Um, Doc then, Crows is a great yeah, place that Doc we love Crows. to eat at. There's a little place. It's kind of, it's about 15 minutes outside of downtown Louisville called um, Hammerheads. The food is excellent, but they only serve beer. Yeah, no whiskey. Just, just some craft beer, but their food, like the food, they have like duck fat fries. Yeah. They're amazing. They have Grippo fries. They have oh my gosh, elk and bison 
burgers and and all this exotic. But it looks like a hole in the wall. It's like meats. someone's basement. It's it's in the basement of a house. It looks like it's really good. But it's really good. Um. Yeah. What else? Oh, um, that place where we had Jack the best Fries. ice cream in the world. Jack Fries is like it's more of a date night place. Um, it's a little more upscale. They have amazing food. Everything we ate there was delicious. But they make their own ice cream. It's where their we met bourbon our, list was great. It's where we met our Danish Danish friends. So there was a, a guy from Denmark. He emailed us like when we first started the channel, like not too mm. far after, within that first year, and said he was writing a book in Denmark on bourbon, and he was coming over with his family, and they stayed here for like a month or six weeks or something, and did all all kinds of things. And he was like, "We'd love to take you to dinner." So we just met them and had one of the most amazing meals I've ever had. And it was just like, we, I don't know. I feel like we don't meet strangers anymore. So somewhere there is a book that it's, talks about us a little bit that we can't understand because it's in Danish. In Danish. It's floating around Denmark somewhere. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> so. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I do. Yeah. I think that that's yeah. funny. Um, I'm sure I missed some comments. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. While we were telling our story I time. wish I wish we could... Answer everyone's questions. Swan so or forth, Trev, if there's anything from the last two minutes that we need to be aware like, of, could you just copy paste? It's like super. Thank you. Yeah, super important. Um, someone asked for overtime's bachelorette party recap for me. Um, I will do my best if we can do that. Uh, um, I do want to also say this is already kind of like a jam packed episode. It's so jam packed. But <laughs> so many room for activities. <gasps> uh, but we had also had this kind of in the back of our heads to. We want to start doing some blends uh, here at home. So we want a suggestion of two to four bourbon or rye. We could make it a whiskey. We could make it even a four grain. If it, what? Nothing. Adam Terry's just funny because he. I said my bachelorette party and he said White Claw in all caps. Oh, and God. it's honestly the truth. You all didn't. They brought like, no, they brought two cases of White Claw. Okay. Anyway. I um, drank one and I was like, mm, no. I don't want it. <laughs> uh, so maybe like, you know, between two to four bourbons that we could put in an affinity bottle um, that you think might, like, let's start with the base. What would be a good base? And then maybe what's a secondary bourbon we could introduce in there? And because um, we've got some, we've got some bottles. We want to start have some ideas. working on some stuff. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So let us know. I mean, we did come up with that award-winning poor man's pappy recipe, but... That's just me. Oh, you're talking about that poor man's pappy recipe that beat out like 11 other poor man pap pappies and I... Uh, Whose idea was it to throw the Old Forester 1920 in there? I think it was mine. Yeah. I remember it clearly. Do you? Mm. Mm, I good. sure do. Um, let's see, what else we got? It's rinse time. We only brought four Glen Cairns. Oh, TNT's Blues Corner. Hope hey. everyone is enjoying their summer. Cheers. Agent EX. I don't get it. Agent X. That's from a... Agent X? Yeah. That's from a, uh, a bygone time on the internet when uh, I was doing Bare Bones. Oh. Mm -hmm. Music music news and review. Music. <laughs> How'd you find that? <laughs> Adam Terry says blend screwball with Makers 46. Um, what are you talking about? Oh, what are you talking about? Cheers. Oh, hold on. Let me get something. I already did it. <laughs> Swan said, ain't no lols when you're drinking claws. <laughs> wow. I think my friends would agree with you. <laughs> Thank you, TNT mm. Blues Corner. Another excellent channel here on the YouTubes that you can check out. Another shout out to Tiffany and Jamie Bieber. Bieber. We know we're saying that right now. It's been confirmed. It has been confirmed. We are drinking on a sample that they gave us of William Heaven Hill Single Barrel. 14 year. Yes. <gasps> this is a uh, 57.5. Someone do the math. Because I'm not going to do it. 115? Sure. Am I wrong? Probably. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's a little fuzzy in my head. Uh, Tell me. Yes, I got it right. Good job. Mm, boom. 458 SOCOM says, Thanks for turning me onto Elijah Craig. Barrel proof saved me $25 compared to Booker's. Mm. Have you tried the A119 batch? Um, I have. I had a pour of that over at Perry's. Oh, you did? Yes. Did you like it? What'd you think? I thought it was off, pro off profile. Sean. Swan. What am I saying? Sean. 
Who's Sean? Blake. Blake. Who's Sean? Uh, Swan agrees with me that it was off profile. Good, but off profile. Uh, well, we've thank had you. two. Appreciate it. Thank you. Speaking of bookers, I mean, we've, <gasps> we've had two bookers this year that I felt like were off profile. They were good, but they didn't taste like bookers to me. I so. love this nose. Someone says Chaz is here. Whiskey Steve. Whiskey Steve. But if you smelled this, Steve. you would agree. Pirate Steve. Oh, that, well, it's because it's nutty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is 115 proof. Bye, I, Trev. I did Have the math. Have fun at your wedding. Not your wedding, but a we <laughs> that wedding. Have fun at a wedding. Wow. Oh, Adam Terry gets that Key and Peele reference. Yeah, we love to reference Key and Peele. Blake. If you haven't Whoa. seen, I just we say this. I'm pretty sure there's like five episodes out there where we're like, if you haven't seen Substitute Teacher skit oh by Key and Peele, God. then you need to go watch it. <laughs> He's having a moment. Have you had it yet? No, because you're scaring me. <laughs> oh jeez. Swan wants us to uh, blend together some 100% corn whiskey, 100% rye whiskey, and malt whiskey, and blend your own bourbon. We could we could do that. We could do that. Different ratios of it. Interesting. Man, what do you think about this? I didn't have the same reaction you did. I'll <laughs> say that. I mean, it's really good, but you were a Aaron. It just hit me. It hit you all the ways. It rang my bell. Obviously. <laughs> rang my bell. 278 watching, but less than 60 likes. Comments well, Jeff Winbush. Maybe it was because of your moment. It was probably. They were like, ooh. They're like, I'm changing that thumbs up to a thumbs nope. down. I didn't like that reaction. Oh, Howdy from Lexington, oh, says Paul. Paul. What up, Paul? What up, Paul? Hmm. I really like this. So again, this is the William Heaven Hill. It's a single barrel, and it's a 14-year. It's 115 proof. It's nutty. It has an It's also, like, very ooh. oily. Yes. It has an exceptional mouthfeel. Q-clip. Yeah, no, we can't clip. Do we don't um, have the technology. Ooh, One day. Man, man. Ah. Hey, Johnny Drum himself is here. <laughs> he also likes Camp Peel. Good. Good. <laughs> he wanted to know earlier if you uh if you still love Johnny Drum. We found out today. Oh. So that maybe not. Well, hmm. Johnny Drum was one of my first loves. And I had that confirmed by a very reputable bartender, mm -hmm. like a worldly bartender, worldly. back when OBC was first opening. Yeah. That visiting bartender. Yeah. Um, he said, if you ask me, Johnny Drum is one of the best kept secrets in whiskey. And I was like, yes, vindicated. I feel the same way. But I feel like Johnny Drum has changed in recent years. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's just my palate. It, it's probably a combination of my palate changing but also because we've tasted this along other willet products they just seem to be kind of kind of changing look if you're not uh, a patron of the show and it's something you might consider doing um we we start out our, our levels at a dollar and that's per month and that gets you access to this uh patron only podcast we do called the, the drink more bourbon podcast and we just recorded one today we just recorded this. one today well, it was the flight, the flight fight of the 64 under $30 that won't be airing because we're getting all the first 16 done. We've released some, but we're getting all the first 16 done, and then we're going to start releasing the, the finals, the next, right? Yeah, the finals and then the championship. So we have like four more to do. How do you call that? Semifinals. Semifinals. And we, we're, we're like, hey, while we're doing this flight fight, let's record a podcast. So that was the one that had Kentucky Vintage, Johnny Drum, uh, very uh, old Barton 86 proof. Jim Beam Repeal Batch. And Jim Beam Repeal Batch. Now, we're not going to talk any about the results, but we do in that podcast. It'll probably be posted by tomorrow, I'll say. Wow. Uh, I've, already, I've already edited it. So there edited you go. It. Edited it. Um, so, anyway, so that. There you go. <laughs> it's our 13th episode of the Drink, on Drink More Drum. Bourbon Patreon only podcast. Oh, 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky? Unlucky. Hmm, we'll see. I don't believe in that stuff. There you go. But I really like this. Um, quick little story. William Heaven it. Hill was the first 
bourbon that I splurged on for a bottle. That's true. What year was that? Was that 2015, 2016? It was probably 2014. It's the maroon bottle, or it's like a cranberry color. It's a um, it's an 11 year bottled and bond. Yep. I don't um, know what year that is exactly off the top of my head. I think it's 2016. Um, I think it's 15. You think it's 15? It I was think it's it was 16. pre show. It was and the show started in 16. Yeah, it mid. Was, it was pre show. Okay. Like, well, maybe it's 15. 15 or um, maybe 14. Uh, we are sipping on the William Heaven mm. Hill single barrel 14 year. It is 115 proof, and this is from Tiffany and, and Jamie, Jamie Beaver. Beaver. Give, and give thank them. you. Round of applause for them. Mike, great channel. 30,000 subscribers right around the corner. Yes, indeed, I'm so Mike. glad you brought that up. Thank you. Thank you for that super chat. We appreciate it. Yeah, we're about a little under 600 yeah. out from hitting the 30K mark. Yeah. And we're just like super thankful to have everyone along for the ride. And William Heaven Hill. Ooh. William uh, Heaven Hill, as, as far as the name, was one one word. Somewhere along the way, it got separated. William. Heaven, Heaven Hill. William Heaven Hill was one Heaven word. Hill. Yeah. yeah and then Heaven it was Hill is one Heaven word. Hill. Heaven Hill. So there's some, if you, if you take the tour, they kind of tell you how they think mm -hmm. that that happened. But yeah, really interesting. Intriguing. Um, I don't know if anyone, you know, sorry, we weren't glued to the chat, but I don't know if anyone was throwing out any ideas for our blends that we should be doing in our bottles. If anyone has any suggestions, what would be a good base? Let's just start with that. What's, what's a good, good base? What's a good base? Like a, a while ago, I would have said like Weller, Weller Special Reserve would be a good base. Yeah. Because I think it's got a sturdy character and it's like not an. Um... So you're looking at a four grain, unless you want to stick with all weeders. Well, that's a good point, Chad. Weeders will limit your selection. Ooh, how would you feel about like Jim Beam Distillers cut as a base? Too high of proof? What do you think? Hundred proof? Um, no, that'd be fine. I think that'd be fine. With you? Yeah, okay. I'd be good with it. I mean, I want it to be. What would you mix in with that? Well, so you I got mean, your nutty base. So would you do a beam bottle? Or is it just a general infinity bottle or is no, just a blend? No, just, it's, it's just a... But Todd, Todd Koopa. Koopa! Where'd you come from, man? You He's been in here the whole time. I have not seen you. Well, you haven't been looking. <laughs> I, did, I didn't get to the chapa. No, you didn't. You didn't get to the chapa. Todd Koopa. Uh, he doesn't know if he'll be on next week. We oh. wanted to celebrate getting closer to 30,000 and not jinx it. Congrats and cheers. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, sir. And we will see you at Tony I, in October. And give, give the man a triangle, too. I will give the man a triangle, too. That, that is... That is triangle worthy. <laughs> I think it's funny when it's soft. That's also not what she said. <laughs> memes, 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 <laughs> just memes all over the place. Ooh, <laughs> it works. The bourbon works. Yeah, it works. Uh, OGD ball and bond base. I just took myself too much. That'd be good. That'd be a high <laughs> rye. It'd be a Jim Beam, potential nuttiness in there. Uh, uh -huh. Bottom and bond, good 100 proof level. That'd be good. That'd be good. People are laughing with you. I mean, tears are coming out of my eyes. <laughs> That's a sound bite. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Blends as a base? Okay, let me refine. I think it shouldn't be anything like too It should be a... Expensive. Expensive. Attainable and affordable. Yes. I mean, affordable is all relative, I think right? Fifty dollars and under, preferably under. You know, um, you know, it'd be like nineteen twenty as a base. That'd be a little too much, maybe. Uh, Justice says repeal batch wouldn't be bad. I agree. Yeah. You could also do that. Um, Mellow corn. Charles suggests Knob Creek. Uh, Four is a single Eagle Rare. Ooh, Eagle Rare. That's interesting. That's an interesting place. I like that. Hmm. Turkey 101. A nice yes, fair. Yeah, Turkey 101. Um, yep. Doug says nothing wrong with a four grain uh, with a special reserve as a base. I agree. I'm interested well, in we that. Well, got, we got two bottles, so let's do one as a four grain and one just as like a one typical is... rye. Okay. Typ typical rye recipe. Okay. Let's do that. We can and then that. like next week, we can report in. We can pour a little bit. It'll be a, you know, a week. Oh, blended. we're going to do it like... Now we're gonna start this. Well, probably not like on the show because we. Well, just not got on a the show. Bit. But yeah. like, yeah, like here pretty soon. We'll tell you what we put in it, and we'll let it sit for a week, and then yeah. we'll taste it, and we'll we'll report back, tell you what we think it needs. There you go. There you go. Do we keep adding, or do we just let it? No, I think we we get four in there. We taste on it. If oh, there it's needs all, some, they're all both gonna be four. Four things. Well, no, they don't have to be. Okay. I don't think we should go much over four. We don't want to get it too complicated. No, I don't want to get complicated. I think um, like three, 
If we get, if we do four. like a three to four, if something is just like really off, maybe we add maybe a fifth, fifth to try to course correct. But or maybe we just add more of one of the others. What are you gonna do? Uh, well, it's we're about at the ten minute mark, so yes. I want to flip on over here to mm. our. Uh, you did say that we would do that. Yes. Are we out of samples to try? No. No, we have more. No, not at all. What do we so, have? We have. Uh, you, boom. Come on. Work with me here. All right. Yeah, let's get a let's get a pour, and then we'll talk about this pour. Oh, Clifton suggests using Pappy as a base. Would you like to send us some? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're gonna go back to Ian. I'm kidding. I'm totally joking. I feel like you might actually consider that. <laughs> Please don't. Ian McMaster, we're going to stick. Hey, we're sticking with the theme here. Ooh. This oh. is a 1976 Beam. Thank you, Mac. Choice. I think a little bit of it is rubbed off, but I think that's Thanks. choice. I don't think it says chain. Uh, it's an eight-year-old, 80-proof. Uh, yeah, Bourbon King. Cool. Ian. Let's do it. So. I'm gonna pour this. Sucker. <laughs> Clifton says, "Do you really think we get Pappy in Los Angeles?" <laughs> no, I don't. But you're just such a generous soul. I feel like you would. Well, I also have to shout out Monica because she sent these along with a gift pack. So these were a gift, ba a gift, gift pack. Yes. Yeah. Ian poured. She presented in the gift basket. Very yeah. nice. All um, right. So uh, the poll we put out there this morning was. Um, hmm. Blah, 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 blah. And this was inspired by a, a comment, I think on our Weller 12 on corking. Uh, if you had $60 in your pocket and these bourbons in front of you all for the same price, what would you go with? So the options were Stag Jr., a liter of Weller 12. Oh. Colonel E.H. Taylor, single barrel. Mm -hmm. Elijah Craig, barrel proof. Mm -hmm. Or lastly, save my money, wait until I had more and would buy dot, 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 comment below. Coming in first place with 34% of the votes was Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Really? Yeah. 60 bucks? 60 bucks. That's a, I mean, that's a, that's a deal. That's a deal. That's a yeah. Deal. Coming in second place with 28% of the votes, Weller 12. A liter. It was between those two for me. Yeah. But I mean, $60 for a liter, junior. that is more money than you should be paying, but I understand how it's very rare, etc. But the Stag Junior too, that's a tough question, Chad. Coming in third place with 22%, Stag Junior. Uh, coming in with 12% is the E.H. Taylor single barrel. Mm. Not much love for that. That's a pretty good, 60 bucks, that's decent. I feel like you can't really find it anymore for less than like 79.99 though. Right, 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 right. It's tough. Uh, um, and then lastly with 4% is save my money, wait until I had more and would buy, comment below. Did we get any comments? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got 39 comments. Well, geez. <laughs> um, a lot of people are saying the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and the Stag, but you could buy the Weller 12 and resell it for 200 to 300. That's a fair point. You totally could, and then use that money to get whatever you Wait, want. Wait, did you say Stag? You could buy the Stag? No, 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 the Weller 12. Oh, the Weller 12, okay. Um, I don't think you could go wrong with the Weller, the Stag, or the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Someone said Michter's American Whiskey in a bottle of Buffalo Trace. Mm. Um, I'm, most people are saying there's no way Weller 12 would be 60 bucks because it's like $200 fair. where they are. Um, but if you could find it at retail. Someone said Booker's Kentucky Chew. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, someone said they haven't Booker's had any of these. Booker's Kitchen Table or yep. Sip a While. Mm -hmm. Ooh, si if I could get a bottle of Sip a While for 60 bucks. Someone said, I know it's a little bit more, but I would get Booker's. I would get the Sip a While. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I would. Uh, has to be Weller 12 since it's the hardest to find for me, though I prefer Stag Junior or E.H. Taylor better. Mm. There you go. So some, some it depends. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some if this, then that questions or some answers. Some people are saying Blanton's. Blanton's, yeah, you should be able to get it for 55. Uh, someone says, I really enjoy Rare Breed. And it goes for 40 bucks. So Just you get could that. get a rare breed, and then you could also get a Wild Turkey 101, and then there you go. Booker's Shiny Barrel, Russell's Reserve Single Barrel, or Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit. Um, this is tough, but I have to pick the Weller 12. See, but I'm actually not surprised that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof won, and that so many people in the con in the chat just now said mm -hmm. it, because any time we thumbs up a bourbon that's over Ooh, wow. $100, I would say the number one theme of the comments is, why would I pay that when I can, I can get an get Elijah, Elijah Craig, Craig barrel proof for 
X insert, amount of dollars less. Or yes. why would I pay two hundred dollars for this when I can get three Elijah Craig barrel proofs or two or whatever? Yeah, like Elijah Craig barrel proof is a measuring stick. It's been the for measuring stick. How many Elijah Craig barrel proofs could I get for this bottle? And I've really noticed that over like the past year, year sure. and a half, as people say they like in their mind, it's like doing a child's homework or something. If <laughs> if three of these equal one of these and blah blah blah. If Elijah Craig barrel proof is fifty nine ninety nine. And you have 149.50. How many Elijah Craig, Craig barrel proofs, proofs could you, you get? get? <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Um, uh, golf whiskey. It is good. He's in the chat so a lot. He might be here right now. He was here earlier. Okay. I don't know if he's still Says here. Says I would go for the Elijah Craig barrel proof. 60 would be great mm. here in Virginia with the state. Also run. coming to our meetup. There you go. ABC. It is uh, an allocated lottery pick. That usually. Gets around 10,000 entries for a few bottles. Again, he's talking about the Elijah Craig Barrel Fruit. Wow. Um, let's see. Um, Eric says what he wonders is how long will the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof remain under $100? I think we can regularly get it for between 70 and 80 Oh, right for now. sure. We can normally get um, it for less than that. Really? Yeah. I've always only seen it for like 70 No. I've seen it marked up. Kroger Wine and Spirits. Oh, well, there, there you go. go. Shout out. Um, and there hasn't been one that I didn't like. It's always a, which one do I like better? Right. It's never a, oh, this one's the good one and none of them are good. Sure. Yeah. It doesn't disappoint. No, it so does not. I guess you're paying that 70 bucks consistently for consistency. <laughs> wow, I like it. You're paying 70 bucks consistently for consist consist consistent. Oh my. Consistency. 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 There you go. You just were getting all up in your head. Uh, what's the one I can't say? Uh, mini, no. Uh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah. Well, you just said it. I did, but I have to hear it first. He does have to hear it first. Ah. It's the, the it, chew it, and the suh sound. The that chew and the suh. It mixes you up. I don't up. like it. I don't like he it. He doesn't like it. I don't like it. He don't. did it. Yay. Yeah, I did. I did it. I'm so proud. What do you think about this 1976 beam? I think it is choice. Again, the writing smudged on the bottle. Eight-year-old, 80 proof from Ian. I like it. I like it too. I think... Again, 80 proofs back then were just different, are different than nowadays. I, I think proofs. that the other late 70s beam that we had that was just the white label, uh -huh. it almost felt like it had more of a finish. Than this one. This one tastes a little um, bit more like watery. It's a it, it feels like 80 proof, which I don't think the other one felt so much. Correct. You know. But um, this is like it's smooth without the flavor is really good. Without having like sometimes 80 proofers just have a bad taste to them. This doesn't have a bad taste at all. It's actually really good. But you can tell, yes, I agree, that it's like 80 proof. You know, 80 proof. Shall we hit the I'll I'll stand up. Wanna hit the button? Oh you wanna yeah. stand up? Give him a chance. Give him a give him a drink. Give him a drink. We got one more thing we can try. He's standing up. He stood up, drink. If Jose was here, he would tell you to drink. Yeah, where's Jose? Well, he's probably busy living his life. What? <laughs> well, I don't know. Who gave him the night off? <laughs> he's allowed. Bye, Swan. Thanks Fair for enough. joining. Thanks Thank for you, moderating. Swan. Thanks for moderating. Appreciate it. Follow him at the Bourbon Finder on the Instagrams. Oh, I just love him so much. Mm. Oh, are we really ending the show with this? Don't sound so disappointed. I'm not. I had a really good experience. Okay. Okay, so I was in, let's see, what week is it? Where am I? Um. Okay, so the week of my bachelorette party, that Monday through Wednesday, I was in New York, and we went out to dinner, and someone with me got a Red Breast 15 year, and I loved it. He had it one giant ice cube. This isn't the 15. I know. This is the 12-year cast strength. But it has inspired me to go back to this. <laughs> Jose. Jose. Cheers. It's, it's nutty. nutty. Oh, man. Mm. I'm going to have to cheers you with a Scot uh, Irish whiskey. I'm you'll, sorry. You'll live. Anyways, so I really liked it with this one. It was like one of those big square um, mm -hmm. ice cube. Well, ice cube is square. Cube is square. So that's Sarah. Um, ice cube is there? Shut up. Anyways, I really liked it, and it inspired me because I remembered that we had this sample. To Jose. And I really... Our Nutty Squad team leader. Yes, he That is. was kind of a week. There we go. So weak. Still weak. Um, anyways, I wanted to pull this back out because 
I liked it so much. So I want to try it again right now. Not that this is the 15 year, but. Yeah, so this is the 12 year. And, and someone was asking about this, I think last week or maybe the week before on live. Have, have we tried the Red Breast 12 year cast strength? We'd had the 12 before when we were doing Irish stuff, but it wasn't the cast strength. And then we got some people, gave us some some uh, some 12 very um, graciously. And this is also from Tiffany and Jamie Beaver. Thank you. They're just, they're, they, this episode brought to you by. <laughs> Tiffany, Jamie, and Ian. Yes. Really. Um, so, uh, Dram Nation says, wow, the Red Breast 15 is a scotch profile. I didn't feel that way, though. It just was so good. Cheers, Eric. But it wasn't peaty. I didn't feel like it was peaty. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, Trav's back. Trav's back. In time for extra yes, innings. Back. Trav back is back. Again. Tell a friend. What? Yeah. Guess you, who's you kinda back? Sk- Guess fine. who's back? <laughs> Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Dude. It's Jose's well, birthday? Well, well, well. Jose, I should toast you with my heartiest dream. Yeah. We gotta have something nutty after this. You know, before bed. Nightcap. We'll get some In bubbles. your honor. Yes. Yes. Wow, it's really chocolatey. Chocolatey, but what's that other thing in there? There's a little, you get some of the grain coming chocolatey through. Chocolatey and earth. It's earthy, it's chocolatey. But I think it's rich and I like it. Is, it. it is rich. It's, it's rich, really like a, rich like a carrot cake almost it's it's very cakey it's, yeah uh, it's that cream cheese frosting on the top it's sweet and it doesn't taste like cream cheese but no but like that that thick it's gross wow i can't even i you know i'm gonna leave the descriptions of the cake and the frosting to that's you. fine hey i've said enough things james wolverton is in the chat james wolverton red breast 12 year barrel proof amazing, amazing. we really like it yes well i really like it i don't know how chad feels and now i want a bot i i think i want a bottle of the 15 year because i liked it so much and i want you to try it the way that i tried it and i want to see how you feel sure because i am hell bent on finding things i mean I love bourbon. It will, all, it will always be my number one. Don't try to change me. Sure. I'll never f- say that I like this better. Don't go change it for me. But I like having options sure. outside of it. And I like no, finding you things. You don't want to be the curmudgeon who's like, ah, oh, no. it's bourbon or nothing. And I have a Screw long life. Screw all the other whiskeys. Hopefully a long life in front of me where I can explore things like this yes. that I like. It will always be my second love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, you're, well, you're my first then, Hell I guess. Hell uh, what did I also say about James? He's got a YouTube channel what? here on YouTube called Let's Let's Talk Bourbon. Art. Go check out his YouTube channel. Art for the Red Breast Fifteen. Wow! Dang, Art. All right, you're gonna have to get. It's it. not my birthday. It's Jose's <laughs> birthday. No, thank you so much. Thank oh, you. you know what? You get. Ooh, you get a triangle for for Art and a cowbell. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, thank, thank you, you sir. so much. That's great. Uh, now Chad will get to try it like I had it, and I will convert him. I like red breast. I said it. Hey, I'm liking this. I really am. I said it. It's really got... It's it almost mocha. Something. It's almost mocha It's got a little mocha e. Yeah. It's dessert Mocha, chocolate, dessert sweet. What's the proof? 58.2. Damn you, math. Okay. Help. Always give us the proof. I know it's such a... Irish and Scotch thing to do the ABV, but us bourbon drinkers... We can't do math, especially Damn it, we like 116.4. proof. 116.4. Thank you. Let's <laughs> 16.4. Help a, help a bourbon brother out and give him the proof. Well, yeah, wow. I feel so special right now. Yeah. Now I get to get it. I'm so excited. It's very cool. Oh, I can't wait. I do. I want to have like a, a whiskey world night where we try things from different... Or around the world, if around you will. Around the world and 80 bourbons. How fun would that and be? And 80 whiskeys. I want to do a dinner party of around the world whiskeys. Probably couldn't do 80. No, we can't do 80. That's but like we'll figure it out. certain death. Yes. Unless you have a dram. Um, you know how much a dram really is, Sarah? 0.02. Chad's not a fan of the dram measurement. It's not enough, he says. He doesn't know what it means. I mean, it's literally, a... a dram is so little. I've heard this. This is for the tax. Thank you, Golf Whiskey. We'll see you in October. Good to see you in here. I thought you were in here, yeah. It was. Called you out there in the comments. Very appreciated. Uh, Nick said, I actually went back to bourbon after loving Irish. Um, 
Okay, so does anyone else, we are in overtime, Jeff Winbush, we are officially five minutes into overtime. Um, so, not that I'm gonna go out and jump and buy these two or anything, but I'm just curious if anyone has a recommendation. This is like when people ask us, if I like Redbreast 12 and I like Redbreast 15, what would you suggest as my next step? Hmm? Don't know. But someone asked if 113 thumbs up is a record, that is pretty high, but I think like 125. So if you could just obliterate that, that'd be great. What happened? The thumbs up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We'd really, thumbs really up appreciate record? it. Thumbs up record? I think it's like the 125-ish, 130-ish. Yeah. Maybe it's 150, maybe it's like 175. Nobody so loves if, us. If everyone could just, I'm just trying now just to garner thumbs, oh, thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs up the judges. Josh says, just want to say all. We appreciate you both. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you, John. Thank you for that super we chat. We appreciate your super chat and your recognition. Thank you. That's so nice. No, I can definitely get behind this. Um, I really do like the cast strength version. John says, I got some Willet five year single barrel rye, 124.6 proof at the Southern Whiskey Fest. How can uh, I send you a sample? You can email us at itsbourbonite at gmail.com and we will tell you where we to will, send that. We will have to arrange some type of transit for us to go and pick it up from you. Oh. Okay. But yes, send us send us an email. I need to get something to toast. You need, toast. You need uh, something nutty for yeah. Jose's birthday. That's exactly what I was thinking. Ooh, what will he pick? What will he pick? I don't know. If anyone else uh, cares, he just got up, so drink. 139 likes. Yes, thank you. What? That is awesome. Um... New t-shirt alert for those of you who are sticking around. We will have new t-shirts soon. They are being printed currently. Uh, we'll be reordering the t-shirts that we have in stock right now. The black and gray is Bourbonite. And we have a new design coming out, uh, which we're very excited about. It will be limited first run because we don't know how it's going to do. We don't know how you guys are going to like it. That's right. But once we can get a feel of that, we will order more. Uh, Lil says bring some awesome. Oh, she's going to bring some Australian whiskey in September. Nice. <gasps> That's so exciting. Thank you. We can't wait to see you. So this... This... Is for... Mm. This is for John. I, oh, I already did. I think... Or I already... I just did. I'm not sure what I didn't. I, did. I didn't make my glass. What did I do? <laughs> Next step is Ardbeg. Yeah, in okay. Correct. And funny. this... You're so funny. It's for Lilith. Lil. Oh, I need to get some um, more. <laughs> What's that word? More. <laughs> What's that word? It's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, new swag. It's pretty cool. Oh, um, we have another special thing coming. We do? Oh, yeah. There's a microphone right there. <laughs> you think they heard that? I don't know. We'll see. Clap yeah. if you heard that. Yeah. No, I'm Bark just Bark twice if you're in Cleveland. We can tell them, right? Well, they already know. Yes. Our, like... Our, <laughs> our challenge coins are being printed as we speak. Our first batch yes. of 500. Yes. Some patrons have reserved uh, certain numbers, but we will have 500. Another oh. reason to join Patreon. Yes. You always they get got first. They to reserve their number. First choice. Um, mm -hmm. But I would say only like 50 maybe or less have 50, 40 or 50 have been reserved. Somewhere around there, yeah. So we've still got 450 left. Mm -hmm. Um. And we have an exciting theme. We do, and we haven't talked about this. We haven't yet, talked have about it. We talked about it on Patreon. Hmm. Should we tell them? They're here Should for. Should we? But they're here for overtime. They How are. will they know if they want to buy it? It's true. When it comes out. Okay. Do you guys? Tell them, Chad. Do you guys remember? I don't know. They might still be doing this. I don't know. Do you guys remember the state quarters, where every state in the United States? Like there was a quarter for every state, There's and it had a little for thing on the Kentucky. back. Kentucky. There was a quarter for. Tennessee, Ohio, California, California Texas, New York, Mass what's that state? Massachusetts. Yeah. Ha. Um, we are doing since bourbon is America's native spirit. Only one true and only native spirit. We are doing a challenge coin for each state. So our first in the United batch. States. Our first batch, of Obviously. course, is Kentucky, the birthplace of bourbon whiskey. The home of the majority of the world's bourbon whiskey. Um, and, oh, Sarah's going. Sarah stood up. I don't know what that means. Double I think it's drink. like double drink or, or something. 
Um, but you can bet that others, other states that uh, we have a lot of people from who, who what, is, what is a challenge coin for? That's a good question. So challenge coin. That's why I got up. Comes, I think it originates in the military, okay? Yes. Now, what you have here is our friends Scott and Bart from Scotch Test Dummies. They have a challenge uh, Graciously coins. sent us some of their challenge coins. So it's like a poker chip. It's like a poker chip. They call it a whiskey hat because if you like to trap a nose in a Glen Cairn, you can do so. And you know, Or do, if you're not finished with your drink. Do this. We don't want bugs to fly in it. So it, it can be a whiskey hat. Challenge coin, um, as far as I'm concerned, I, I have not been in the military, so I can't really speak of their traditions. But from what I understand, guys go out to the bar, they pull out a challenge coin, lay it on the bar. I'm like, oh, he did that. Whoever, I out too. whoever doesn't have theirs with them buys the round. So, and so the whiskey the, community. The whiskey community has adopted it, and, um, you know, uh, Bill. From the Whiskey Dictionary, has some coins. Again, these are the Scotch, Scotch Test dummies. dummies. Roy from Acrovite has coins. He um, actually was kind enough to help us uh, design. I think Eric has some from uh, from his channel. Eric Waite oh. has some and so forth. So uh, it's something that we're very proud to to be be a part of. So yeah. it's it, they are ordered. They will be coming soon. Coming soon. Yeah. Joseph. Joseph! Joseph, we miss you. Just tuning in, but I'm looking forward to the replay. Welcome back, Sarah. Thank you. And welcome back, Cotter. So good to hear from you. A show that Sarah you. doesn't know about. I don't. So, yeah. Kentucky is our first state. Then I don't we'll know. move on. I'm drinking all my drinking. I'm drinking all my bookers, and we haven't even cheered Jose with a nutty cheers cheered? yet. That's you heard me. <laughs> oh, Norris wants a Virginia challenge coin. Someone else said Kansas. <laughs> Um, we'll get there, everybody. Oh, yeah. But here's, I mean, here's the great thing. Like, we know people want... Okay, we'll be honest with you. We had a little question in our mind when we were trying to decide on this thing. Will people only want to buy their state? Because that would that would kind of suck. But we're like... But it's like the quarters. A lot of people collect, you know, want to collect those quarters. And when you really think about it, that bourbon is America's only native spirit... Like it's like represent like there's the I know there's a lot like we have a sports thing with Tennessee mm -hmm. and Ohio we kind of but but I would gladly have a Tennessee bourbon coin I would gladly right. have an Ohio bourbon coin because every place in we, America makes up bourbon and I I mean I can pretty much guarantee that there is a distillery in every state yeah. If I'm not right, please challenge me. I mean, that's a future um, episode. Literally, challenge coin. What are the best bourbon distilleries from every state in the United Because think about it, like, when we States. think about Tennessee, if anyone's like, well, uh, Tennessee, I'm like, well, Bell Mead. Done. Mic drop. <laughs> tell me tell me more. Texas. Uh, yeah, Texas. Uh, no, I asked. Texas. Oh, um, Iron Root. Mm. Uh, um, Balcones. Mm. Um, Garrison Brothers. Oh. New York. Hudson. Kingstown. Kingstown. Yeah, yeah. Kingstown. <laughs> that's what it's called, right? Now I'm like second guessing. But yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, anyways, you got like Rhode Island. Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know about Rhode I don't Island. Know. Um, you Washington. Know, uh, Woodenville. Woodenville, you know? Yeah, there you go. Alaska? It, I don't know, Whiskey Steve. Are there any, is there anything good from Iowa? Because I haven't heard. <laughs> <laughs> You know, no one ever talks about Iowa. Alabama, Clyde Mays. Clyde Mays, there you go. <gasps> this should be a trivia game. Ooh, I like it. Maryland, Sagamore. Well, they they do rye. rye. Do they have a bourbon? I think... Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, not Hudson. I said Hudson because that's the first thing that popped in my mind, okay? <laughs> South Dakota, Badlands. Oh, okay. Hawaii. Um, I don't know of any bourbon from Hawaii, but we did have that Carl sample Ivy from Carl Ivey. sent us some Hawaiian whiskey. whiskey. I don't know. Okay. It's, so it, it's all of your all's responsibility to represent your state and let us know. You tell us. Uh, your, your favorite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks, John Belushi. Arkansas. Well, I don't know that one. That's a good one, Trev. Ar Arkansas? No, you're not supposed to say that. I know. Oh, wait. Did he bring us something? Arkansas. Am I supposed to know that? I don't think there's anything good in Arkansas scared i don't remember it's fine 
Anyways, okay. To, hey everyone in the chat, raise up your glasses, virtual or otherwise, to the birthday of one of our moderators, Jose. Let's give him a nutty squad team leader cheers. To Jose! To Huzzah! Jose. Hey Jose, it's nutty. Mm. It's nutty. This oh, is. That oh, that was just for him. It was. That's sweet. This is Kitchen Table, 2018-04. One I of the love best bookers table. around. It's just, oh, so freaking good. Rhode Island, Sons of Liberty Spirits Company, Newport Distilling Company, White Dog Distilling. Hmm. All right. Yes. Hashtag Nutty Squad. Thumbs up in the chat for Nutty Squad. He's our Nutty Squad team leader. He is. Yes. Our treasure. <laughs> I don't know what he is. So Trev says our Kansas ha <laughs> has... He hates it when you do that. No, they hate it. No. He um, we have Rocktown. That's right. And yes. I'll get you some samples from them that you have to review so you can stop making fun of us here. Fair enough. We like we like Arkansas. Jose says... Nutty Squad. Nutty Squad heart. On his own birthday. Love. Love for the Nutty. Love for the Nutty. Uh, yes. DJ, he's like Kentucky, Kentucky, or Kentucky kitchen table. table over Kentucky Chew. I agree with Kentucky you. Kentucky Table over Kitchen Chew. I think that uh, Perry is the other way around. I think Perry likes the Kentucky Chew over the Kitchen Table. I agree. That's the glorious thing about Booker's is that there is a batch for everyone. Yes. And can, Greer says great table. episode to Jose. Oh yes, to Jose. Yes. Uh, can we do an episode of Nutty Profile Bourbons? Well, that seems. Like it. Jim Beam and Heaven Hill Products. Seems like we should have already done that. High barley content. We're getting nutty. I don't know. We'll figure out something. Getting nutty with it. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Getting nutty with it. It writes itself. It's bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. Well, we are officially 17 <laughs> minutes well, into overtime. People are going to see this. The time and be so like, you're like an hour and seventeen that. minutes. I'm not, I'm watching, not watching that. that. No Ugh. way. Who has time? So that means this is just for you all. Two hundred and fifty seven though for overtime. Wow. That is impressive. Crazy. Thank you all for joining us. Vermont Mad River bourbon is excellent. And that's what she said. I don't know who said what, but yes. I'm sure go. that that it's it Wait, funny. is there any bourbon <gasps> Joseph. from Joseph? Is there any bourbon from Indiana? <laughs> I'm like, Chad, don't ask dumb questions. <laughs> you just like, said there are no dumb questions earlier. Oh, well, unless, I lied. Unless Chad asked. I lied like, there was. Joseph said, I'm about to open a front porch. Hope it's good. Actually, I do like is, front porch That's 2017, right? Mm, I think so. You're going to like it. Was if that? you don't, let it open up. Yeah, it might Maybe need should. a little time. But yes. Should. Cheers. Clifton McDaniel said he loved tonight's stream. Thank you. We loved your comments and your yes. super chats. Here's to Joseph. We love the audience participation. And thanks for all those suggestions on the base of our uh, our, our proprietary blend, which won't be proprietary because we just let them. Win. Yeah, we'll, we'll 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 let you know the percentages that we put in and all yes. that. You know, we yes, got we nothing will. to hide until we find something that just blows our socks off. And we're like, all right, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe we'll just sell this. I don't know. Maybe we'll just sell this. I don't know what we can do. Yeah, hello right. from Ohio, Ian, that bourbon guy. I think that'll do it, Chad. I think show. I think, think show? I think show. I think show. I think this is Chaz. I think this is Sarah. No. All right. Well. All right. Cool. That'll do it for us. So we'll say that. Mm -hmm. You take it, Sarah. Um, we'll see you next week on live. Uh, and I don't know what else you say. Uh, thanks, Chad. Thanks, Sarah. And until next time. Drink more bourbon.